I've got, I think I've got some inconsistency here. H how does it look on your end? Uh, no, wait. Everything is fine. Yeah, things are stable here. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Everything is stable. I don't know about you, but everything looks remarkably good here. I get That's strange. I don't remember leaving my... What is this? Let me this? check. Yep. Mm. Everything is as it Eric should be Soda's. here. Eric Sotis. Active 1973 List of contracts. How does it look on your end? Contracts? Uh, no, wait. Everything is fine. Uh, okay. Everything is running like 1979, Jasper Knight, the Soviet spy. Good. November 1978, well. Edith Van Orden, the tobacco widow, drove over a like cliff. No. Could have sworn. Everything is just running smoothly. Mm. April 1978. How does it look on your end? Roman Laurent. No. No, 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 it can't be. Why the hell did the... Is someone trying to tell me... Eric? Sotas murdered my father? <sighs> okay. Okay. Stay calm. Focus. I know. But I need to be professional. Even if this is true. I, I can't act. Is as it should be here. Is if Soda survives, my stem cell treatment will pass FDA approval. The man on the phone promised me as much. Good. Besides, everything is stable on this end as well. I'm in the business of saving lives. Don't you just love Not like ending this? them. When everything is just running smoothly. <sighs> I love them. <sighs> okay. Take a look on your end. <sighs> okay. This doesn't look right. Someone made sure I saw oh, that file. No, it does. They wanted me to know she Eric Sod has killed my father, but why? Did they want me to take matters into my own hands? <laughs> well, I won't. I'm in control of my impulses, not the other way around. Those days are gone. <laughs> uh, Don. Yeah, Nicholas Laurent. Uh, listen, I, I want to be absolutely clear about this. Um, those clients of yours, uh, if Eric Sotis survives, they have the power to get my stem cell treatment FDA approved, right? Uh, th that is what they said. Right, no, it's only, um, I learned something, uh, something really, uh, d disturbing, and I, um, hell, it's my father, Don. He was murdered by... The patient your clients are paying me to save. Yes, yes. I, uh, I, 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 I know how it sounds. No, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Throwing my career down the toilet will not bring my father back. I just, uh, I, I, I wanted to inform you of the situation. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Don. Have a safe flight. Go on the road. You've gotten better. Nails, I uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. Surgery is probably the toughest thing out there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure flying the helicopter. And my brain. Hell of a thing. Here we are. Help yourself. Thanks, Nails. You're a champion. Easy does it, Doc. I'm, I'm fine. I, I can take it. I just need a kick in the ass. Oh, a 
Oh, that hit the spot. Oh, damn, those are fast working. It feels like my brain's walking on burning coals. <laughs> oh, that... Oh, that bastard. That piece of shit Eric Soda's who I'm in there trying to save put a noose around my father's neck and kicked away the chair? Hmm? Killed him for money? <laughs> oh, he'll pay. Screw FDA approval. Right here, right now, Eric Sodas is going to pay. For another time, Yamazaki awaits. Patient deceased. Cause of death. Human error. Hey, talk to me. What's happening? Falcon, I have a target request. Standing by for visual ID. Use your camera. Over. Falcon, I have a visual. Sending it now. Over. Confirmed. Do I take the shot? Over. Take the shot. Target is down. Over. Falcon, I'm sending a visual ID of the target. Over. Copy that. Standing by for the go order. Over. Take the shot. Over. Target is down. Falcon, over. Sending target ID. Over. I see it. Standing by for kill order. Over. Take the shot. Over. Target is down. Over. CEO of Kronstadt. I dare say congratulations are in order. Hmm. Cool, what? Hey, Falcon. Be careful, I have will a confirmed you? security threat. This is no drill. Over. Any idea why? You know why. Take the shot. Trust is over. over. Until Ed. Target is down. Over. Yeah, look at that. Damn it, come on. Damn. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Put that thing away. Yeah, I snuck a peek, so shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. Uh, bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Friendly advice. All right, I hear you. The slides depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union are ready for pickup at the reception. Desk security expect a soldier to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs office. Ah, the slides arrived. About time. Maybe this will shut him up. Knight in the office. Escape slides are here. This guy might know Janice. Top spy master. As you said, best kind of spy. Keep uh, it safe, soldier. That could be the power switch. Oh. Only one way to find out. Huh. Must be loose wiring. Well, I minored in engineering. This should be as easy as falling off a log. Target 
Take it down. Oh, that... You did it. Now head towards an exit. Uh, you there? I got one down. No, no, it looks like an accident. Together, we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, I Absolutely agree. right. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead. Don. Got it. What the hell? You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. 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 I'm in. Yes. Yes. Listen to yourselves. Don Yeat is not even appointed constant yet, and already he conspires to betray his master. I don't pretend to understand Edward's every move, but I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. Stand down now or share her fate. Edwards will hear about this. I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Put her down. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. Mr. Pritchard, I presume. Hi, I'm Chen Ping. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost mister. somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I mean, you really I'm hungry and I'm tired, you. and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you Just come and find pay me. Him any attention I'll be waiting by the stairs out. in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Hey, I won't tell on you. The VIP has access to the kitchen. I'll be waiting for him in the back. Understood. Hey, hurry up. The man is starving. Yes, I'll see to it. See, now look at that guy and let it be a warning to you all. Smoking crack is whack.
evening. No, oh, I'm am not I supposed to focus when the kitchen He went straight to find your inner. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task. And oh, good. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, Hi, apparently. Imogen Royce. Nothing I've wrong with her look, though. Like edgy. After you. This is the blast and EM. He shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, yeah, hey, we're bro. safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what? Screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities, and although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers and my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've How set up today, a little sir? demonstration for you. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty, but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the core room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. 
Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. I have no idea. I thought it was going really well. I like it here. I can't believe it. But who, though? Friend. Oh, you mean Vincent? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see him then. Okay, I'll call you later. Sharon Reed, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Good, that's Imogen Royce down. Take care of Hush, and we can get to the core. Don't mind me. You try to get inside that safe back there? Of course. I'm human. Any, uh, any luck? Nah, not yet. I bet it's something cool, though. It's usually last wills and surveillance picks. You know, for blackmail. Or sometimes, the odd murder weapon. Huh. Reminds me when I worked for that Caruso fellow in Sapienza. He kept hair and skin samples in his attic safe. Never learned what that was all about. Ah, the rich are weird. Ma'am, I recovered this intel. It concerns yourself and Mr. Yates. I think you ought to take a look. I see. Thank you. No, no, it can't be. He, he didn't. He couldn't have. I bastard! <sighs> Don! I no! Valentina? What's wrong? You look upset. Don, what did you do? Tell me you didn't. Do what? I don't understand. Semaphore. The data leak. She's been living alone here for, what, six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her career. Are you kidding? That's the perfect marriage. Well, hey, nice I'm sorry suit. to burst your bubble of finely aged cynicism, but the Yates are genuinely crazy about each other. They're the proverbial power couple. Valentina was always Don's most trusted advisor and vice versa. Some say she's the brains behind some of his most famous court strategies. Huh. Talk about insult to injury. What do you mean? Oh, it's just that one of Yates's clients is the rival to the Semaphore phone company, which got exposed in the data leak that ruined Valentina's career. In fact, Yates would have lost his first high-profile case had it not happened. 
I guess her loss was his gain. Huh. Didn't know about that. Well, I guess if they can survive that, they can survive anything. Except retirement. It was you all along. I... So stupid! Why did I see it before? You leaked the document so you could win your stupid case. You didn't care that my career would be destroyed. My reputation dragged through the mud. Your Don Cojones Yates and Don Yates never loses a case, no matter the cost. My love, it was... I didn't mean for you to... What did you just call me? Are you insane, Don? How can you claim to love somebody and then destroy their world with the flick of a pen? It was just business. You know the game, Valentina. You know how it's played. There's a limit. There is always a limit. No. The old Valentina, she would have understood. But you've been down here for too long, my love. You've grown soft. Bastard. How's this for soft? No! <laughs> Don? Don, get up. Get... Get back up here. We're not done. I didn't mean to. I why is there no air in here? Alexander Fanin's office, please. Valentina Yates calling. Alex, thank God you are working late. I need you to... Yes, uh, me too. You must come visit some other time. Uh, but listen, I need a favor. I... I need 10 million in cash, Alex. From Milton Fitzpatrick's Buenos Aires office. Now, I know this kind of withdrawal requires both me and Don's signatures, but Alex, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't serious. I have a big problem. I need it to go away fast, and Don can't know. Will you please call them and... You're a saint, Alex. I'll make it up to you, somehow. Forty-seven. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. It might be worth looking into. I tried to go up there to spy on the thing, but if I can't adjust the scope right, I'll never make the shot. Well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. Ah, damn it. If I don't get this viewfinder working, I will miss the shot for sure. Good thinking, 47. Now, if we could only make Rangan appear in that window somehow. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local Chool. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. When are you gonna be done mixing those colors? I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing? is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. I wish there was some way out of this mess. Maybe if I'd make my own death. Just for a decade or so. Get a new identity. Start over with a new style of painting. <laughs> Hey, 
Mr. Hussein. Go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. I'm sorry, it's you're me. gonna have to leave. Just to let you know that the house is ready boy. to continue waiting. No offense, but I hope I don't see you again. <laughs> ah, Mr. Hussain, ready good good at last. Huh? Did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full-time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego. Magnificent use of colors and form. Kya baat hai? If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rankin. All right. Chalo, let's get this done with. I expect these to be the final brush strokes, Mr. Hussain. I'm a busy man here. All right, 47. You know, Let's this see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. Look, hmm. once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not overdo it, huh? you know? I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? That shot came from the tools. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the Chawls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is. The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chawl. It's facing the laundry area. I suggest we find out what he's up to, 47. 47? It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. The Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shah. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. It will all be over quickly. <laughs> I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Patani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to... Why don't you go on a break for a while? Oh, thank you. Maybe I can watch a few minutes of the cricket. The ODI just started. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. Samja? 
So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. <sighs> the new foreman finally graces us with his presence. What do you have Hello, to report? Sir. Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya of Shaw out right? into the open. Hmm. Anything could I've happen here. I've made a here. similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Foreman. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. I think I don't see you down there, little ants. Scurrying about at your own pace. Taking unnecessary breaks. Drinking my water. Wasting my money. You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Oh my god. That is Vanya Shah taking care of 47. Hello? Are, you Are you planning yeah, on outsourcing like all your work to the Kashmirian okay. from now on? 